Hello internet, um, okay you find me in a uh, slightly different location today um, we're, well I'm in the ensuite. suite, get us then we posh um, and I've got a little job to do, basically just swapping out this, oh let's open the door, you might be able to see it better that there, yes the uh, the Myra shower so basically um, it's quite a few months ago now, um, I changed the shower bottom, I'm sure I did the video of that but who knows. Uh, so I changed the shower bottom for a, it's a solid stone one because the old plastic thing was just horrible cracked and falling to bits. Uh, and I put this in around about, ooh, probably about four or five years ago, maybe even a bit more, who knows. Um, it's, it's been okay. Uh, but it's always sort of dripped when you turn it off and let me demonstrate the reason I'm changing it now is basically it's starting to get a bit noisy and uh, the last one did that uh, so uh, it's getting for some reason it's got all stained as well I don't know it, it's okay but I thought Mario was a good make um, it's it's okay that's all I'm gonna say so if I turn it on let me just point the uh, the water away slightly if I turn it on you can hear it kind of it's making kind of a real buzzing and it's almost buzzed a little bit from brand new but now when you turn it up yeah that sounds to me like bearings starting to go and i'll be honest the, the flow is a bit rubbish as well and then when you turn it off you can watch it just keeps dripping so it's not a bad job it's only the cheap there you go, that's how you stop it dripping. It's not a bad job, I guess the seals have gone somewhere. Um, but it started to do it, well, before the warranty was up. But I did phone Maya to try and get it replaced. And they said they was going to uh, send an engineer around. But if that engineer thought that it was uh, our problem, he was going to charge £120 for the visit. Uh, so, yeah, I've not had a good relationship with Maya, I've got to say. Um, so that one's got to come out. And let me show you what's going in its place. Okay, so here's the replacement. It is a Triton uh, AS 2000 SR, silent running. Uh, gets good reviews, and um, it wasn't a bad price. I paid about £190 for it uh, on special offer. So literally, uh, going to unbox it, take down the Myra one, obviously after disconnecting the electric and turning the water off, and we'll get it swapped over, and you can join me for the task. So that's it out of the box, and that's all the good things that comes with it. So all the, uh, the brackets to hold up the, oh, that's noisy, all the bracketry to hold up the pole, to hold up the shower head, which is a big old thing. Yeah. Right, I'm going to grab a screwdriver. And let's start disconnecting things. Turned it off, but safety first. One of those in there, and one of those in there, and zero. I would show you, but I haven't got three hands. <laughs> I guess I should have expected it. So that's the cut off for the cold on the shower. And I've got it, there you go, as far as I can take it. And what I'm even gonna do is get the vice grips on it and give it that last little tweak. So that's fully shut off, can't be any more shut. Let's go and see what the shower's doing. That's what the shower's doing. Still pouring water. Oh, for 
So, my next problem. Do I carry on like that and try and get the other share up quickly? There's an option. Or do I drain down the whole system? The problem I've got now is this water is fed from a tank in the attic which holds a bazillion gallons of water which I would have to drain off completely which would take me a gazillion days or do I try and struggle on and get wet through? I think I know what the option is. So, let me just show you the dilemma I'm having. That, obviously, which I can't stop even though I've run that valve off as much as I can. And another dilemma. Basically the pipes come in there. On the new one, they come in there. Now you can swivel them around and put them up there, but that's in totally the wrong position. So this one is completely the opposite to that one. Now when I replaced this in the past, I didn't have that problem. But on this one, I have. I think this job's going to get aborted. So what occasionally happens in life, um, and sometimes a little bit more than you'd like, um, things come to bite you in the arse, um, and this has done that today. So as I showed you, the valves are completely turned off, and uh, it's still leaking water. So unfortunately this house has two great big tanks in the attic, one for the central heating, one for cold water flow. Uh, so to do this job I'm going to have to drain that down which is really annoying um, but also while doing that what I'm going to have to do as well is reroute the pipes slightly um, so as I showed you the pipes come in just there and on the other one they come in just there on the opposite side so uh, to be honest the valve needs replacing anyway because it won't turn the water off so that's really annoying so I suppose it's saved me a job and cost me another job uh, but basically this is going to turn into I'll either a part two or forget it, I'll just leave it as it is. I don't know yet. But um, there you go, you've joined me for this part of the ride. Um, watch out for the second part of whatever happens to this shower. Um, but as the wife needs to shower tonight, this one's staying in for a little bit longer. So it's got a, a, a review and a reprieve at the same time. Um, it still works, so okay, it's not the end of the world. It's just really annoying because when I changed this last time, didn't have to reroute those pipes at all. Um, but obviously this time, yep, I've got to reroute them because as I showed you on the new shower, they're on the opposite side. Kind of annoying really. All right, it's all back together. And now we're gonna have some shower action. I did give it a bit of a clean up with electrical spray and clean the filters. So it does seem a bit better to be fair. Hmm. But for now, I think that'll do. The dirty old things will have to stay in there. It still leaks. <laughs> Damn thing. Right, join me for part two, maybe the next day well as the song goes it's a new day it's a new dawn no god please no no yeah and all that load of rubbish so this is what i'm dealing with today um the shower <laughs> yeah got a little bit more complicated than i wanted it to be so that offending article there is the one that won't shut off properly that one's okay but i've bought a couple of new ones so what I need to do, um, I've got to move that anyway because the shower goes, uh, well in picture, slightly more to the left than, the, than at the moment. And these are touching back as well. Um, yeah, it's quickly put together by the builders by the looks of it. So basically we've got a tank upstairs that is the gravity fee for the hot water system. No, sorry, for the central heating system. Uh, and they've tapped off the second, well there's two tanks up there, I don't know why, but they've tapped off the second one to bring the shower down, which is cold water. Um, thank you. Yeah, we'll switch that off. <laughs> so yeah, they've tapped off the, the cold water tank upstairs. Uh, there's two big tanks, I'll show you in a minute, that basically sit side by side and they siphon each other. Uh, so I've got to drain all that down completely uh, just to change that valve, but I've got to move it further up anyway. 
um, because like I say I've got to move the piping slightly to the left which isn't a big problem um, it just needs a little bit of uh, fettling shall we say so uh, right I better get myself ready and get on with it so I hope you can see this is the bizarre setup up here um, a couple of cold water tank fees for some reason there's two and um, yeah they're sitting side by side that one's a scummy as hell so I'm going to try and clean that up when it's, uh, when it's empty um, but basically yeah those two link together through the back there and uh, they, the cold water feed goes down to the shower uh, I know with uh, some showers especially the thermostatic ones you can't physically um, plug them off the main because the pressure's too much uh, but it does seem a little bit overkill I think one tank to be honest would probably be enough Anyway, waffling isn't going to get it done. Let's get on with it. So it's cover back off again and then take that filter out as I did before and uh, yeah, try and drain it down completely. A bit, bit deja vu this, but at least I know where the screws are this time. Yeah, that's draining. Yeah! <laughs> Got me a waterfall! Getting there, the hot's about gone. Just waiting for that great big cold tank now to empty. Could be a while. Bear with. There you go, there's a bit of back street engineering for you. I stuck that in there. I've got fed in the noise. It's still draining. But that's better. Almost there. Almost ready. All this stuff, just for a valve. There you go, we're empty. Look at the scum on there, years of line scale. Yeah, that's gonna have to come off. That one, not so bad. Bizarre, yeah, I can't figure out why there's two. Really can't, doesn't need it. Well, to me it doesn't need it, but I'm not a plumber. Right, here we go then, time to get that scum off with a trusty old Wix wet and dry vac. <laughs> Let's hit it. Right, yeah, the tanks are cleaned, get the tops on them, get them wrapped up again and uh, get these uh, valves changed and uh, then get the shower done. Yeah, this has turned into uh, quite an escalation, I think they call it. Right, first task, cutting into this pipe and getting that crap old valve out of here. Never enough room to get these things in. They're great tools, but just never enough room. <laughs> there you go. She's cut. Uh, off with a compression fit and go. That's solid on there. Wow, that's proper solid. Go. Yeah, I think that was put on when the house was built. That ain't coming off. Right, um, plan two. So, you can see that's where the pipes come through. So, uh, let's get the shower off and uh, attack this from the other end. Well, with a lot of manipulation and grunting, it's off. And as you can see, yeah, there's been a few variants there before. Uh, looks a bit of a mess now, but that'll all be covered. Don't matter. And to be honest, in the next, uh, probably, six seven months probably be ripping all this out anyway and replacing the bathroom but for now let's get the new one up and that leads me back to the bit I was originally trying to do <sighs> that all this hassle for that so here's a demonstration <laughs> one-handed Bashed you on the head there. Oop. You can hear it, it's grinding, grinding like hell. Right, that's about, that's about as far as I can do it. And makes no difference whatsoever. That is 
broken. And that's putting it politely. Alright, time to get the shiny new one on. Look at that. Screw fix did me proud. And lots of lovely PTFE tape on there. And then the valve goes up. That comes down. And you can't do it with two hands. Oh, hold on. Here you go. So that's just finger tight. Yeah, lots of PTFE tape around there because uh, although it's a compression fit, you do need the PTFE. I'm going to angle that slightly as well to there to make it easier to get in the future. And uh, now, right, I'm going to tighten that up and um, start replacing the second one. There you go. Nice and snug. Super. And now the hot water feed. Just going to done that. Give that a bit of a slip down. Oh. And give it a pull. Two hands needed. There you go. And then that one. Oops. Oh, I'm going to feed it through and take the uh, compression joint off the other side. Oh well. And as if by magic, there it comes. There you go. What's that one like? Um, not many line scales in that one. Um, let's get this valve off and let's see how much line scales in that one. This one did actually work, to be fair. Um, but the other one was pretty bad. So drop that down. Probably use that same bolt again. Just put a new olive on it. Yeah, a bit in there, but uh, yeah, certainly not as bad as the other one. That could probably go again, to be fair. It won't, but it could. Oh, there you go, second one's in. Uh, like I say, you can reuse the olives and the nuts as long as they're not chewed up, but put yourself plenty of PTFE around them. Right, so that's the valves in place. In theory now, I could isolate those off and I could turn all the water back on, but I'm not going to, because it's only going to take me another hour or so to get the new hole through and to get the new pipes in. Just take the share out completely and just take the hole up and nobody will notice. How are my mints get washed? Um, I just sink there. Okay. Do it old school. Stand up wash. Or use yours. Uh, no, it's boys' bathroom. Oh. Yeah. How many screws have we got? Two ish. Yeah. So that needs to go somewhere. There is, I believe. Nice and level, of course. Don't want it going to cock, do we now? That's somebody will have a moan about it, won't you, dear? I will. The job's worth doing. It's worth bodging. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Something like that. That looks bigger than the last one. It does look bigger than the last one. Yeah. I think it's a placebo. Eh? No, it isn't. Oh. It's just that that cover's bigger than that one because the whole cover goes over the whole, the whole shower like that. So when you put it, oops, when you put it up. Much the same. Alright. Yeah, it needs to go up a little bit more. Have you got a new bar? Have I got what? A new bar? Yes. Oh, thank goodness, because they're cream. They look ridiculous next to that white um, cover. They look dirty. the tiles don't they? Dirty, nasty, horrible. You're never going to show up about this bloody odds for you, are you? No. The boys have got a new bathroom. <laughs> Tell the 
punters why we had to have a new bathroom. <laughs> because when we bought the house, the main bathroom, which is the one that the boys use, was as navy blue as Mr R's t-shirt there. Tell them what it was done navy blue in though. So, shall I explain to the people, what had happened is the clown who had this place before decided that he didn't like the colour of the tiles, which were cream, similar to this, but they didn't have patterns on them. Not everybody's taste, original tiles, fair enough. He got blue hammerite and painted the whole of it, streaky, but really streaky, blue hammerite with a paintbrush. All the way round. And then went the round bathroom. all the grout bits and painted them with a white thin brush. It must have took him hours. <laughs> and it looked like yeah. <laughs> Awful. It was like the black hole of Calcutta, wasn't if, it? If I've got I think I've got a picture, I'll put it in. I'll put it in the video. It was okay. horrible. And that's why we've got a new bathroom. Yes. But um yeah. Yes, we we would do this one. Yes. 17 years here and I've never liked this bathroom. It's not our taste, but you just won't do it for some reason. It's clean and functional. Okay, that's looking tatty now. And yes, it does need doing, but it's been functional and clean up to now. And I replaced all that, made that one nice because that was rubbish. Yeah. Now doing the shower, but yes, okay. It's This bit's looking rubbish. But the trouble is, it's all right you saying replace it. I've got to take all this out because that, is a false wall, so all that's got to come out. Then I've got to make all that good, put a new windowsill in, put a new drop down in, then fit everything in, and then retile the floor and all the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Just a five minute job. And it will be beautiful. It took me two it. weeks to do the main bathroom. <laughs> <sighs> oh no, I, I shall have to use your bathroom in two old. weeks. I'm old and slow now. You please. are a lot older now. Old. Should have done it when we moved in I'm then. I'm old and slow. We'll go to Dubai for a week and let somebody come in and do yeah, it. Yeah, now that's the plan. <laughs> that's what we should do. Right, I'm going to get drilling. Okay, right. Is this the ideal time for me to go and make that cake then? Because I need to do the... Is there an ideal time for you to bake? <laughs> Shut up. I need to get the whizzy thing on. And I oh. didn't want to do it while you were filming. Right, do what you want. Okay. You always do. All right, say Bye. goodbye. <laughs> right, the water's back on and uh, the tanks are filling up upstairs. Uh, put the water on basically because it's snowing outside and getting cold so the missus wants the heating on. Hey, hey don't you dare! Yes please! Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm just making the hole for the new pipes to go through and of course sod floor. Um, I've put the screwdriver through there but there is a wood beam in the way so I've got to do some fettling. Um, but no, getting there. It's um, Everything's a challenge, but yeah, if you didn't have challenges in life, where would you be? How are you getting on? I'm getting hot. So we put the heat on. I'm <laughs> not getting hot, I'm freezing. Yeah, you're always cold. I know. Well, we're getting there. I've cleaned your tiles up with um, pink stuff. Lovely pink stuff. Yeah, pink stuff does the job. Um, I was going to new compression joints on but looking at these there's nothing wrong with them so I'm going to use those again they're a bit faded but yeah they're gripping well and they weren't leaking so I'll reuse those and will, got whole will I be seen? no oh I say right then shower. ok no worries <laughs> but uh, no they're fine they're still doing the job really well so yeah that will come through going to the shower so I've drilled the holes through just got to put it up they'll go in there like that Pots go at the back into the bits I've just done, connect it all together. Bob's your uncle, and Fanny's a rude word. <laughs> right. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, your dog's after something now. That bit of wood. <laughs> Oi. What are you doing? Hmm? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, onwards. Right. Okay, leave you to it. Yep. Well, as I'm starting to find out, I'm a bit challenged on space at the moment. Um, there was there was more room on the last one to get the pipes in. And uh, as you saw, we had pipes coming up here into the um, flexible joints, the, um, I don't know what you call them, the, the self, yeah, self doing joints. <laughs> but what, what I'm going to have to do is I just. Uh, 
use these in there. I'll just cut them up and they're, for, they're fitting spot on in there. And uh, that will then give me enough to get two pipes through there nice and, as you can see, nice and tidily. Uh, and there's plenty of room for those two to go in. Um, as soon as those bits pop up there, it'll be fine. And then I've got plenty of room to go through and adjust things on the other side. But I think that is the best option for now. Um, yeah, not the way it was, uh, not the way I was going to do it, but it is what it is, as long as it works, jobs are good. Okay, I've got two pipes cut to size, so they will go into the share itself, and I'll obviously go through the wall into whatever I do the other side. So I'll get my uh, trusty old blowtorch on the go, and get these soldered up. All right, giving the ends a bit of a wobble up, some trusty old flux. Works well, let me put it there, YouTube. Let's, let's see if uh, if that'll steady you. Yeah, that'll do. That's close enough. Uh, a bit of uh, lovely old flux on the end there. Yeah, good stuff on your fingers. This is, and uh, yeah, it tastes even better when you stick it in your mouth. Not that I recommend that. <laughs> there you go. Bit of flux on the end there. And now, so gloves on. Get some gas on. Let's get some flame on. And then we warm up the joints. Now when you're doing this, you want to make it go around as much as you can. Then it doesn't have to move this time because uh, it doesn't matter where they sit. So all you're doing is warming that joint up all the way around. So you see a bead of solder coming up a little bit closer, you should any minute now. There we go. So you've got a bead of solder coming up, that's all you need. Look at that. And that's how you solder the pipe. Dead easy. Alright, second one I'm gonna do with two hands. And there you go, both done. And a bit of plastic stuck to it. Ooh, a bit warm. So there you go, solders all the way around. That's all you're looking for. Okay, it's just a bead of solder all the way around, and that will do nicely. That will not fail, he says with great confidence. Right, that's those two bits done. Um, obviously now I need to plan the rest of it, so there may be some more soldering in a few minutes. But let's get back upstairs and let's have a look where that leaves us. Okay, I've cooled them down, cleaned them off, so in theory now... Let's do this one at a time, shall we, Reeves? Yes, let's. So, in theory... Be a struggle isn't it yes it is going to be a struggle oh it's never going to be easy is it right i might take it off the wall and put them through do it that way bear with yes that's a much better idea there you go right so they go through there let's push them together they go through there like that and the good thing with this shower is you can manipulate it a bit um so you've got sort of cut out holes there um but it is going to need two hands so bear with you go, that one in there, that one in there, pop them down. It's in! Hey, new shower. There you go, just got to plumb it up there and wire it up. Simples! Simples. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, I've still got a little plumbing on that side, that's in now and where it's going to be, but these bloody things as well are completely different, which I suppose they're going to be really, but going to do is leave holes there so I'm going to have to bring it down because they seem to have massive brackets for no good reason so that's going to have to go there which means that's going to have to go there and you can fill those in with grey out it's not a problem but it would be nice if it was the same no. oh well is what it is. It is. And it's only for the short term. That's what I keep telling myself. You wouldn't believe I cleaned this bathroom yesterday. Wouldn't believe you clean. <laughs> you know that chocolate and hazelnut cake I've just made? Yeah. You've just given me your piece. Oh, okay. Rude. Terribly rude. Right, shall we leave it there for a few minutes? Yes. 
Cool. Show our heads up. Show our heads up. Nice big one. Oh, hello. <laughs> yep. So, it was a bit of a pain. Well, it's left me with some holes. But well, hey, what's up? Um, the pipe's all um, over the place. Do you mean all over the place? Oh, it don't matter. No, it's fine. It's all right. I'll just... it through. Yeah, that one's coming the other way. It's a shelf. So that the pipe's the other side like the head. That's it. Perfect. Job done. Something like that. Something like that. Right. Get the plumbing done. Uh, so right then, one of the last little bits is obviously get the pipes connected up now. So I better figure out which one's hot and cold. So I don't want to get those around the wrong way. And uh, do the business. Right, let's get on with it. So, I've got the uh, cold water side mocked up. Um, using some of the older pipe, again, doesn't matter, recycling is a good thing. Um, so just got to solder that joint up there, and um, that'll obviously be a compression fit there, that's all good. And then just uh, connect that to that, and we're about done. Right, so then just give that a bit of a clean up on, uh, on the older end there, get it nice and shiny, and uh, then some flux on it, and uh, bring on the fire. Oops. Fire. <laughs> Cleaned up the end, make sure it's okay. Gonna wrap some PTFE around there and put it all back together. Let's do it. There you go, plenty of PTFE. Try and make it a nice job because if you get it nice and equal, then uh, it holds all right. So that should click in there, like so. And then we tighten that up. That one goes in there. Don't cross red that nut reeves. There you go, and that's the cold side done. Good stuff. Right, I tighten that up and then we'll get started on that one. Well, I didn't film too much of this because I wanted to get on and get it cracked, but uh, as you can see, all plumbed up now and uh, turned on. Nothing coming out, so uh, we all look good at the moment. So uh, I think the last bit, get the uh, cover on the shower and uh, see how it performs. Well, it was getting late in the day and uh, we need to use the shower, so it is in. It's commissioned. Um, yeah, you have to commission it by running it gravity feed, first of all, to get all this stuff out of the system, which makes sense. And then you flick a switch in the, in the middle of it, in, inside there. And now we have a fully working shower. It's got quite a bit of lump behind it. And it is pretty quiet as well. So, uh, yeah. Now it's in. Yeah, pretty impressive. And the head's pretty big. It's got several stages you can put it on. And it's pretty quiet as well. So, that's a bit of a bonus. But there you go, plenty of flow. So, that is. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, that is my job done. Um, yeah, sorry the end bit was probably a little bit rushed, but um, to be honest, needed to get it, so I needed to get it yeah, installed and working, because uh, the missus needs to use it. Right, that is it. So it took longer than I thought. It was a bit of a pain in the backside, but we're done. So, um, happy days. All right, YouTube. Catch you later.